Oh my God, it's the end of the world. We only have 20 years left. This according to Al Gore, who said this 20 years ago. Never mind that. But it's the end of the world because of fossil fuels. And what do you do when it's the end of the world because of fossil fuels? Why, you glue yourself to a painting. Happened yesterday in Glasgow. This according to ArtNews.com. This is by Shanti Escalante de Mattia. Last name M-A-T-T-A-E-I. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Culture Confederacy here. It's Thursday. Had a great morning, by the way. Great morning listening to Schubert's Ninth Symphony. The Great with Sir George Schulte and the Weimar Philharmonic. Now, that's off the DECA label. It was one of the early digital recordings from DECA. But you got to get this CD. Now, there's a big controversy over Schubert's Ninth. Should you include all the repeats? Should you not include all the repeats? Well, Schulte includes all the repeats. But it, it is such a great performance, it doesn't drag. So get the CD, you're not going to regret it, worth every penny. And I was also listening to Eberwein's Symphony No. 3, last name E-B-E-R-W-E-I-N, another little gem that you have to have in your collection. You want to sink your teeth into something more American? Listen to Bristow's Second Symphony. You can find all this here on YouTube. Part of our tradition of celebrating great art, great music, preserving history, culture, celebrating free speech. That's what we do on the channel. And I've got to give a shout out to Art News, celebrating its 120th anniversary this year. Been in business since 1902. Way to go, Art News. So let's get to this article again by Shanti Escalante de Mattia. Last name again, M-A-T-T-E-I. Environmental activists in Scotland glue themselves to a painting in protest of fossil fuels. Two environmental activists glued themselves to a painting in the Kelvin Grove Art Gallery in Glasgow yesterday, while three others spray-painted a column in the museum with the words, Just Stop Oil, the art newspaper reports. The activists belong to the environmental group Just Stop Oil, a coalition of activist organizations in the UK whose members regularly perform acts of civil disobedience. Oh, I'm sure they do. In another case, a young activist tied himself to a goalpost during a soccer game. Now, in Europe, soccer is just as popular as football is here. It's a big deal. Activist Carmen Lean and Hannah Torrance Bright attached themselves to Horatio McCulloch's painting my Heart's in the Highlands from 1860. There have not been any reports of damage to the painting. Torrance Bright is currently a student at the Glasgow School of Art, and Lean is an architecture student. So why aren't they focused more on creating great art or great architecture that's environmentally friendly and uses recyclable materials? Thought I'd ask that. Quote, I'm an artist, I love art, but instead of spending my time making art, I'm taking actions like this, spending time in and out of cells and being punished by our legal system for begging the government to let my generation have a future, said Torrance Bright in a statement released by Just Stop Oil. Now, they have a photo here of these two activists, and they're everything you would imagine about these ultra-left activists, these SDW types. And they're wearing these orange shirts that look like M8 t-shirts that have Just Stop Oil stenciled on them. And their hands are glued to the frame of this painting, this McCulloch painting. And in the upper left-hand corner of the photo, you see Just Stop Oil spray-painted in orange on this column. I mean, these people are really, really out there, folks. Really, really out there. Quote, we hold these works of art sacred, but what is more sacred than life itself? Lean explained the choice of my hearts in the highlands in the following statement. Quote, this landscape was painted in 1860 at the height of the highland clearances, when whole crofting or small-scale farming communities were evicted by a new class of landlords ruthlessly pursuing their own private interests, she said. It was only when crofters organized and resisted that they won rights. Lean added that the threat from oil and gas companies should spur people to learn from history, saying, quote, civil disobedience is scary, but is the only sane thing to do, and you won't regret it. I'll tell you what's scary are these activists gluing their hands to paintings, doing whatever they do, Tell us that we only have 21, uh, 20 years, 21 years to live. There you go. You only got 21 years to live, bud. You're not even going to be able to drink. You won't make it to 21. You can't have your first beer. The art newspaper reported that as the protesters were being led away from the museum, one of them said, quote, the art world is responsible. Every sector of our culture is responsible. The museum closed early yesterday, but reopened on a normal schedule today. So that's at artnews.com. A couple of these 
lone activist, environmental activist in Scotland, gluing themselves to a painting because it's the end of the world because of fossil fuels and oil is evil. It's bad. Bad oil. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, you know what to do. You can also follow me at Instagram, hashtag Jason Composes. Find me at Twitter, Culture Confederacy at Twitter. This is the Cultural Confederacy saying peace out. Stay safe, everybody. God bless this great country. And I'll catch you next time. And above all else, stay away from these environmentalist wackos. Take care, everybody.